27 minutes or thereabouts to go before this one gets underway. And this is the road to the final in terms of the graphic. Trentino getting the better of Perugia in an absolute epic semi-final. And it was a, a similar situation for Zaxa. They now face off against each other. The Stripsky Eagle against Zaxa and it's kind of all Polish, all Italian, all Polish, all Italian final. There's a lot of experience for both of these teams in terms of being here, having been here and done it. It was an incredible performance from Zaxa last season. They'll admit to that. It was a fairy tale for them. But this year, they seem to have gone on one better. But who's going to be on the podium? Who's going to win this one? That's the big question. Will it be Zaxa again? Will Trentino prevail? Last time when we had the, the Super Finals, Grivich was in charge of Zaxa. Kowanowski was playing well. And we just look at the lineup here for uh, Trentino. Spetoli, it will be the starting setter for Trentino. And then the starting outside hitters is going to be Matty Kaczynski and Tricky Mickey uh, Micheletto. And Lavia will play in the opposite slot, even though actually he's, he's actually an outside hitter. Middle blockers will be Shretsko Lizanets and uh, Marco Podraskinin. It's the same team that they've had all season. Gina, Julia, Julia Pinali, my apologies, Julia, is the, is the opposite, but he hasn't been starting in that situation. And the starting Libro for uh, Itas has been uh, Julian Zenger of Germany. For Zaxa, without Tony Uti, they have still been able to produce some excellent results and get all the way here with the uh, Wojciech Zelinski and Mikhail Kozlowski. And of course, they've been really playing well this season using uh, Lukasz Kaczmarek in the opposite. Luk Lukasz Kaczmarek, for those of you that were watching the final last season may well remember he hit the winning point an ace serve from him getting it in between Micheletto and the libero at the time whose name escapes me by apologies but at that point Micheletto when he was playing for Trentino really was like just coming into the team and was a, a little bit raw still but now very much a mainstay of this team and when you look at this lineup that they have Trentino with the passing unit they have and the way that they run their offense as well you're going to see some unique rotations or not to, how is the best way to put it I should be able to say you tell you this shouldn't I very eloquently being the commentator but they have a, some various spins on rotations one and six that aren't what you normally see and it's uh, rotation six when the setters at six would normally wander up to the net with the opposite player. But in fact, what happens, Spetoli will come back and be almost in the corner at uh, just between, almost at position one. And he'll actually come around the outside and, and run in. And then Lavia in the opposite slot becomes a passer. So look out for a couple of uh, weird looking rotations or interpretations of them. That was the word I was looking for. Micheletto just seems to be getting better and better and, and taller and taller, actually. He is still only young. Just 20. Uh, 2 metres 11. Quite incredible, really. Daniele Albergati, the opposite, hasn't seen a lot of court time for Trentino. They have had, though, an awful lot of time to prepare for this one. 21 days to get themselves ready but by the same token they haven't had a match they haven't had a competitive game in 21 days will that make a difference who knows Zaxa were playing recently as they try to uh, 
secure the championship, which they did in Poland in the Plus Liga. Spertoli, what a great season he's had. Number two to Gianelli, and then comes into Trentino. Gianelli leaves and just takes over the mantle and does it impeccably. And two absolute phenoms in terms of athletes in the middle for Trentino with Shretko Lizanets and Marko Podraskinin from Serbia. Martin Janus is going to have a, a lot on his plate. He's been the player that has been linking this team together and making them work. Well, De Gea, he's just a youngster, 20 years of age. He's seen a little bit of court time. We will not expect him to see a great deal in this match. He knows it, but he is here for a reason. He's not here just to be an innocent bystander. He's not here for the ride. None of these players are. And in fact, Trentino with a slightly smaller squad than you might normally see, only 13 players. Kamal Semenya, the outside hitter for Zaxa and also for Poland. Part of the team that won in 2021. There are seven players from Zaxa who were part of the team that won last season. And then you've got Podraskin in, Lizinets, Micheletto who were part of the team that didn't win in terms of the starting players. So it's a, a much changed team and a much changed dynamic as well within the team and how they operate and what they're doing. And no doubt both teams will have been scouting each other extensively during the course of the season as things began to move on and move up and they know that they're getting towards the business end of the Champions League and who's going to do what, where they're going to get to. And so that also means Zaxxon know about the rotation variations that Trentino run. And it's one thing knowing about it, it's another trying to stop it. Still a long way to go. He's, what, how long we got? About 20, just under 20 minutes before this one gets underway. And these players were all kind of watching the the women's super finals between Canelliano and Vakif Bank. If you haven't seen it, it's a cracking game. You don't want to miss it. But you can catch it after this one on catch up, no doubt. All eyes focused on this one. And what a great season Matty Kaczynski's had, the Bulgarian outside in 37 years of age. He's actually come over from uh, Japan for the JTE KT Springs. It's his fourth spell with the team, would you believe it? Played for them in 07-08 when, uh, when they won the Champions League and he got the MVP. 2012-13 he played, 14-15, then he went to Springs, went to Al Rayan and then uh, Coming back, 23 individual awards. And what a great player that man in your picture is, David Smith. For Zaxa, USA International. And they've had some interesting acquisitions for Zaxa to help them achieve what they've achieved this season. Only two players not from Poland playing in the team. Eric Shoji and David Smith, both of the USA. Shoji the Libero came from Fakel. David Smith's been with the club since 1920s. 
So it's like, yeah, he's been in the club for nearly 100 years. No, for the season 19, 2019 20. So looking for a second Champions League. There's plenty of support for Trento. That's for sure. There's also plenty of support for Zaxa at the other end. It's red one side, it's yellow the other. But will it be Poland or will it be Italy that take this Champions League? Time for the players to express themselves in the warm-up. Trentino did have a, a rather illustrious career at one point of winning and kind of dominating in Italy and in Europe. They have won the Champions League three times before. They've also lost twice in the final. It's interesting when you look at the, the Champions League, yes, it's old to new and the teams that have done well. Zaxa with one. Trentino with three, Ravenna three, Dinamo Bucharest with three, Rapid Bucharest, Romania with three, Treviso four wins, Modena four wins, and then after that it's uh, Kazan with six and Moscow with 13, CSKA Moscow, but their last win back in 1991. And what were very different formats then. Spatoli, so much will be riding on his shoulders and also in his silky fingers, really, as he looks to manipulate that ball to the player that can put it on the floor and give him the best opportunity to score. But he's got his Euro volley, gold with Italy, taking that European Championship win. He's on a high, he's one of the best setters in the world. Setter really has just done very, very well. Martin Janusz, he's from Trefl Gdansk. Getting now a little ping. Actually played for Poland, they were second in the World Cup when he played in 2019, second in the VNL 2021. He's actually got a a second place from the Champions League as well in 2011-12. But look at this, yes, young man, in your picture. Tricky Mickey. And he is so difficult to stop now. It's Alessandro Micheletto. Come up from the second team. It's his second season with the club in the first team. He's already got a European Championship gold. He's got an under-19 World Championship gold and an under-21 World Championship gold. And we've got the World Championships coming up as well later this year. Will he be getting gold there or will Poland? Who have done so well in that competition recently. Kemal Semenyuk. That's a second with Poland from the Volleyball Nations League in 2021. With the team since 2019. He's actually off to Perugia, is Camel Semenyuk. So we're going to play, seeing the players from Trentino an awful lot more next season. The Zaxa fans are confident that their team can do it again. But can their team do it again? They desperately want them to. Over 12 minutes to go before we get this one underway.
looking all calm at the moment, isn't he? Angelo Lorenzetti, he's been with the team since 2016. And Chiretu from Romania, the man in charge of Zaxa, coming in this season to take over from Nikola Gurvic, who went to Perugia. One important factor for all of these players and for both of these teams is that they need to treat this like any other game as much as they can and do the same things that they would do in any other game in terms of their preparation, in terms of the warm-up, what they're doing now, all the things you would normally do because it is just, at the end of the day, a game of volleyball. And you've got to try and treat it like that. And the coaching staff's wow. job is to help the players feel that it's just like that. Not put the pressure on. Not raise the expectations above what should be realistic to achieve, which is for both of these teams a victory. That has to be said. Either team capable of winning it, that's for sure. Fans only want the win. But one of these sets of fans will be disappointed. As to who that will be, it's anyone's guess. And for as much of us as, as an expert as everybody is, and even those that are, from the people I've been talking to, and we're asking, come on, what do you think? What do you think? They're like, mm, do you know what? Could, could go either way. It really could. And there are several factors that always come into play in these situations. Who can handle this environment better? Who can think clearly in the most critical of situations? And who's going to, who's got the best tactics? But not only that, who's going to be able to actually employ them and make them work? Pretty in pink? Indeed. Oh, and in blue. Yep, you're on the big screen, sir. But luckily, you haven't seen yourself. <laughs> you might want to take that off if you did. <laughs> Warm up over. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Bringing on the the youngsters who are making sure that the ball is out of play, gets moved around the court, so the servers have got a ball to play with. And now let's welcome the teams. First of all, please welcome the team from Poland. Let's all welcome. These are the two teams, Itas Trentina against Grupa Azoti Kedzhezhin Kozle Zaksa. And both teams are lining up even though you can't see them probably. And then there's going to be... An introduction for the referees. Now there's going to be a little pre-game show. It's a very good light show to come, actually. It's pretty and cool. My former Champions League and national team player, please welcome back the wonderful Norisha. And we're going to have the anthem sung.
voice, what a performance. Please put your hands together for Norisha. Anthem over. Now, the players will leave the courts. The bench will stay where they are. The other starters will go off to the corner and we'll get ready for their entrance. We'll see them come in one by one. But before that, we are going to have a pretty cool light show. The mascot, Ace, will get First things going. But not before the refs have been introduced, of course. Fabrice Colados in charge, and Nukla Uspa of Turkey, the second referee for this one. Challenge referee from Croatia, Milan Rankovic. Now, check this out. This is well cool. Well, the referee's taking his position is brilliant, but uh, Ace is still hanging up in the ceiling. He'll be down in a moment, hopefully. show the heat from the flames was real but who is going to be on fire here in this match which team will rise and take the spoils we will be finding out very very shortly but we've got to get the players out onto court first Preview 
of the uh, starting sevens. Zaks are coming out onto court first then. With number two, Lukasz Kaczmarek. Lukasz Kaczmarek, the opposite, two metres and four. He's been with the club since 2018. Part of the team that won last season. Christoph Reno, the middle blocker, two metres and three. He's been with the team since 2019. He's actually off to Zivereci next season. And now let's go with number five, Marcin Janusz. Marcin Janusz from Poland, the setter, one metre 95. He's from Trefelgdansk, part of the national team for Poland and very much a major part of this team for Zaxa. Alexander Slivka, the outside hitter, 1 metre 98. He's been with the club since 2018. Champions League first and the MVP last season in this final. Camille Semenyuk, the outside hitter, 1 metre 94. He's also been with the club since 2019. He's off to Perugia next season. <laughs> He's called Eric Soji, but David Smith's got to come out. And here he comes, David Smith. And the graphics doing what he did in the last match. Yeah, he's not opposite, he's playing in the middle. Can't forget David Smith. Whoopsie, got the announcer, never mind. And now out comes Eric Shoji. Eric Thomas Shoji, not an opposite. The real opposite was out first. Jorge Kretsu has put this team together, he's guided them to victory domestically. Can he guide them to victory here in Europe? That remains to be seen. Now it's time for Itas Trentino to come out onto court. Matej Kaczynski, huge roar for him, two metres and three. His fourth spell at the club, and he's playing through the outside. It's Alessandro Micheletto, tricky Mickey, the lefty, playing through the outside, two metres 11, 20 years of age and already a cornerstone of this team. Ricardo Spertoli, 23 years of age, 1 meter 85. He came from Allianz Milano, who was sick last season. And he is doing a great job of leading this team as their playmaker. Daniele Lavia, number 22. He will be playing as the opposite, even though he's really an outside. He came from Leo Schuz Modena, who and finished fifth last season. 18, Marco Podraskinin, 34 years of age, from Serbia. He's been with the club since the 2020-21 season. From Perugia, where he spent uh, quite a few seasons. Stresko Lizinac, 29, also from Serbia. He's been with the team 
since 2018. He came from PG Skra Belhatov. Julian Zenger is the libero, 28 years of age, from Germany. And he is from Berlin Recycling Volleys. He's been an important part of this team defensively, and he'll need to be that again here, as the teams now are all introduced, except for Angelo Lorenzetti, who gets his introduction. He's been with the team since 2016. Away we go with the CEV Champions League Volley 2022 Super Finals here in Ljubljana. And it's the start that Zexa wanted getting the side out. It'll be Kaczmarek to serve for Zexa. That's a good ball in, and Spetoli will try to get the middle running, but that was telegraphed slightly, a great commit block in the middle. And a very nice start for Christoph Reno. Spetoli going to go back to the middle again. Excellent. Re establishes Stretsko Lizanac immediately. Nice ball from Slivka. Oh, I'll tell you what, play on. Says the referee. And it will be Zax's point. Could quite easily have been called for Lavia being over. But as it was, it's just carry on as they were. quite worked. Spetoli trying to get the middle going again and this is a really good start for Zaxa here, up 4-1 already. No, you've got to take off from behind the serving line. He's put his foot on it. Well spotted by the line's official. That won't be coming back. Tidy side out for Zaxxon. They've got off to a really good start here. 
Nice ball in, Slivka, all the options available. Flat, but Slavia will go back to the serving line for Itas. Smith into the action. Yanis will serve. Spatoli's setting his stall out really early, isn't he? He's getting the middles up, he's getting them working, he's getting Zaxa to really focus on what's coming there, and then maybe, maybe you'll just start spreading the play a little bit after that. But right now, there's a lot of a, a big threat coming from the middle for Trentino. That's well sided out. With just getting well, he's getting a, a sliver on this ball, really, wasn't he? With that little cut, very nicely played. Trentino changing their uh, lineup, putting Spitoli out that side. They knew what was coming. Slivka able to go against him and not Kaczynski. Uh, Slivka with the serve, so that nice and high to the middle options here. Oh, goodness, that happens a lot, doesn't it? Middle blockers and wing blockers, they go and they press and they close their eyes and they look at their feet and then they just don't know where the ball's gone, but... Look up! Look up! Oh, no. Still moving to that side, couldn't make it happen. Great ball in here. Spetoli pitching that one off of Lavia. Kaczynski against three. Oh, wow, how did that happen? Both Shoji and Slivka just creeping in, not holding their base positions. And as a result of this ball coming off the block, it's landed into court. You see them both go travelling in, and they didn't need to. Slivka needed to stay deep. Smith is just so good for the middle, he gets such good height, finds some great angles. the great start from Zaxa, Trentino are back, they're only one back, one behind. Spetoli to serve, big front row, but Trentino with Kaczynski, Lavia and Lizinac. <laughs> Somehow kept in play, free ball though for Trentino. Oh, hello! Oh, goodness me! Well, that's off the hands and away. I tell you what, Sreko Lizanaz was about to set that, and all of a sudden he's looking at the bottom of Micheletto's shoes as he come in and had a swing on the pipe. Maybe I think, where has he come from? No, it's a shame we're only seeing the last action. Really good action, though, from Kaczynski. Nice point for Trentino. Good lead from Shoji. It's a really good serve, which has caused problem. And now Zaxa will get free ball. Oh, and it 
won't stay in play, but they made a good, that's a really good serve from Kaczmarek because of the rotation that Trentino are on here with Spertali trying to run around. Coming from behind Kaczynski, and they're serving into the space where he's running into and making it really difficult for him. If Kaczmarek can do it again. This time he gets an ace instead. That's not coming back as he pins Lavia to his left. And Zaxa have got a couple of points. They got in front. Trentino call timeout. Lukas Kaczmarek to serve again. Ball's travelled the length of the court, the width of the court, but a great piece of, of zip on that ball from Spertoli. And Lavia then able to have a swing outside. He's an outside hitter by trade normally, so that's fine for him. It's one of the advantages that Trentino have with their right lineup. They can bring what Trentino can do is they can bring Kaczynski into pass, they can bring Lavia into pass, they can Mikuleta is always going to pass, but they can mix it around with those two. And yet again, another little, this is rotation six now for Trentino, and you've got them all stacked over in the corner because Lavia's back in to pass. And then he's going to swing out wide. Good up from Slivka. Oh yes, what a pick. What a pick that is from Spertoli. Zaxa come again. That's wonderful, the speed on that from Semenyu coming in just over and to the side of the middle. They're almost on at the same time. Semenyu gets himself in position. And just watch this now, they're almost, look at that, it's just one after the other. And you commit on the middle, it's a free swing. But we've got a challenge here for ball up, ball down. Or have we? We've got a challenge for, you said, Attack line fault, there he goes, he's looking at that back row attack from Semenyuk having touched the three metre line as he attacked it, so let's have a look and see. They have a challenge in progress. Nope, not even close. serve so they're trying to scoop that back to spare Tolly great up oh good up as well spare Tolly oh this is some incredible defense both sides and well watched Lavia has he got that no he hasn't Slipker it is who's come up with the point. Wonderful defense. So delicately done by Slipker to put it into Lavia's hand, who couldn't then guide it back into the court. Semenyuk to serve again. 
Oh, he's done in a footfall again. <laughs> making that look really easy. Kileto just all the way on top of that, guides it down onto the block and out. He's almost too high. Nothing Janic could do. Can you be too high in the net in volleyball? Maybe, maybe not. That's all in the net. The play's allowed to continue, so there's no in. Rally challenge, now did that catch any hands? No, Schlifka's given it. Well, they're going to challenge for a touch. Kaziski's going to go and have a little chat about that ball in the block, but it's up to the defending team to make a mid-rally challenge in that situation, really. Slipka thinks he might have got this off hands. Well, that's the ball that hit Podraskin in, so it, that was fine. It did hit him. You can see it clearly come up and hit him. But that's uh, not what they're looking for. Well, they were looking for a touch off Slivka's hit, weren't they? Oh, well. Because that's mid, that's a mid-rally. That, that action is mid-rally. So that's got to be the wrong action. You can't challenge that. And that's not what um, Zaxa were looking at anyway. Because they're looking for a ball off the block and out. But it was good to see and, we, and for us to know that, yes, the ball did hit Podraskin in. Okay, you're in already, I check. Just for it you, might huh? be over okay. because I think maybe what we actually got. <laughs> Do you know what? There was a mid-rally challenge. Lorenzetti had called it, and that's what we were getting. So it wasn't the touch at the end. It just took a long time coming for the mid-rally challenge to appear. So no doubt there'll be a little bit of a chat between Fabrice Colados and the, and the challenge team to say, let's, let's make that happen a little bit quicker, people. Unless not we are, no, come on, yeah, we, we're not looking. Yeah, oh, right, so there they are. That was, he was him clearly saying, isn't it? No, last point. So the last ball, that's what they're looking at. They are going to look at block touch. Oh, we're getting it all, aren't we? Modern technology is amazing oh, no, 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 no. when it's no, all no, working no, properly. No. I checked the ball was touched by Slipka. Slipka's just asking, and okay, the ref's okay, just okay. telling him, yet. Yeah, we have asked for that, don't worry. No, no, no. Yes, Hold yes, the line, yes. caller. We'll have this for you momentarily. We'll get there eventually. Here we go. No touch. And now we can get on with some volleyball. So Spitoli's gone off and uh, in has come Wood de Her or De Her for some blocking height here. He is uh, two metres and three. You've got Podraskin in, who is uh, also very, very tall, two metres and two, and you've got two metres and eleven, but none of it matters because Slipka puts it on the floor for fun.
put the ball in, so many of all options. And a power tip from Slivko, who's now set the bar. He knows he can get away with it. Janis to serve. Nicoletto getting his first real swing. Micheletto. Someone just went shopping in the Isle of Mystery. And this is what they've come up with. An ace. That's someone being Micheletto. Micheletto to serve again. Decent ball in. But there's a chance here in transition for Trentino. Well, that's off the hands. Yeah, they have done it. Smith it was who touched it. Well played. It didn't look like there was anybody to go to. Kaczynski suddenly had to find himself as a hitter. Look where he is at the moment. And then it's like, right, now what's going on? Me? Is it me? Oh, yeah, it is me. There we go. I'll just work the hands. Great up from Zenger. High and wide. And handsome from Matty Kaczynski. Trentino have levelled. into transition, Kaczynski's available. Oh, he just wanted to go a little too steep. Maybe Pike would have been the better option. Very easy to say that when you sat watching. Doesn't really get out as far as he needed to. And then didn't have that angle he wanted. Wasn't far away from it though, was he? Let's get a serve for Zaxa. Ooh, going with a little hybrid. Well played, Kaczynski. Getting a better catch, Marek. a little bit rushed from Bodraskin and he does have a, a unique pre-serve routine, one where he steps forward then steps back and comes into the ball. Smith. It is the perfect pass and then Trentino in rhythm, in flow, indomitable in that situation. Free swing through the middle of the court. Nice up. Wow, 
great touch from Shoji. And it's very, very clever play from Semenyuk. Just making sure he worked the block, wasn't even looking for the floor here. That's some pickup. And this is really good volleyball IQ. Trentino will come again. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. Micheletta is trying to get out of play. That one's inside, outside the antenna. And that is going to be fine. The ball is deemed to have gone outside the antenna and then has been set back. So they're going to look for ball in out if they can. They believe that ball crossed inside the antenna or over the top of it, but over the top is out. No, 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 no. Over, it's OK. Micheletto's not allowed a chance to the ref. He's not the captain. This is not the last action. The rule is, for those of you that are wondering, the ball's got to travel between the plane of the net. If the ball goes, travels outside the plane of the net, you can bring it back outside the plane of the net, but it's got to come back through it. They can't challenge it. And so Trentino lose the point because they thought they'd won the point. Oh, Shoji! Right up, Spitoli. Javier just about keeps that in play. And then Semenyuk thinks that Kaczynski's going to try to go block out. Takes his hands away and gives Kaczynski a free swing. That's a great touch, isn't it? And then it becomes a free hit. Semenyuk making it look easy, and it definitely is not at this level, that's for sure. Very, very good swing. Big blocker is on, but only include two metres and ten, but that's uh, short-lived. He'll be going off again now. from Schlipka. And with all three players, they know it's a big, heavy hit coming. They're just trying to get in the way of it. But it was so quick, there's not even a chance to move here for Kaczynski. Watch number one. Doesn't even get a chance to get his hips under the ball. It's so quick. Perhaps, maybe, just maybe, he could be upright a little more and then shove his hips forward. But semantics, really, isn't it? Catch by it has been playing well for his team. That's a decent serve from Reno. Oh! Well, that's not something you see that often. Spare Tolly trying to get that ball to Podraskin in. And timeout call by Trentino. Zaxa are two away from taking the opening set.
Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Micheletto could do. Oh, well played, Lavio. He's made a great dig. Now there's a better chance for Micheletto. Oh, well up, Zenger. Just incredible volleyball. It's bringing out the absolute best in both of these teams. Phenomenal volleyball. That's what they've been doing so far. Kaczynski out attacking Schlivka. But it's Saxa who are siding out here if they can for set point. Lavia. Oh, no stopping that. Smith over the top, it is set point for Saxa. to serve. Oh, it's a bit too much, and Schlifka says thank you very much. And the first set goes the way of Zaxa. They take it 25-22. Nothing that spare Tolly could do about that. Confirmation of your set score, just over 32 minutes. It seemed to go a lot quicker than that. Stats from the game. Very little in it, hence the score line. That's where Zaxa have been moving the ball around. As soon as they go outside the base positions, they're able to score.
Well, Lisnats hasn't had that many attacks. Smith has been very, very successful, hasn't he? Set two underway, Smith with the ball, Zaxa with a one set to nothing lead over Trentino. Oh, that's a good serve. A serve start, Zaxa. Same outcome with the second effort. Spare Tolly. Easy for Schlifka. Oh, what a block! Lizanets was waiting for that one. And Reno duly obliged by putting it into his hands. a massive spread block from Lissinets. That's a quality ball in and a quality outcome. Reno, after getting blocked, is used again and puts a dent in the floor. Ball from Shoji. Easy one for Semenyuk yet again. Shaping up for cross court, made sure it went cross court. Nice work from Lizanets. Saxon will go again. And again. Third time lucky, catch Marek gets it done. Oh, well kept in play. Lorenzetti was saying there were four touches. But Trentino win the point anyway. Maybe trying for a double, there was no double. So much going on when that ball is in play and all of the players getting into a position to have a swing for Zaxa. Look at this, four players moving, so much pressure on the block defence of Trentino. Ooh, that's 
time Smith had gone out wide. He was thinking it was going to be going to Kaczynski. And as a result of that, it's a free swing. But it was going to Kaczynski. He thought it was going out to Lavia. That one's not landed in. Might well have been going long. Well played, Lavia. No carry. Not in. Just getting a little bit untidy, isn't it? In these last few points, a little bit ragged. That's such a good ball, actually, from Micheletto. And Kaczynski does brilliantly to work that off the hands and get the point for Trentino. This wasn't easy. That was well played. Always tough to get. You got your defense sacked deep, and then Lavia is the off block, is the one who needs to be in that neutral position to chase after this. But he's still moving backwards a little bit. He can't then readjust himself. Look, can't do it. by Semenyuk. And somehow that's landed in. What a great shot that is from Ketchmarek. Well worth another look. Even with it clapping 
clipping the net. Still landed in. Semeni up to serve. Oh, he's thrown that too far. He was never going to be able to have that swing on that ball. He was, did well to get a hand on it. Again. Not going to come back. What a great block from Reno. Fans loving it. Lavia, not so much. to make sure of that one. So difficult to stop at times, Nicoletto. going to come back. Saxa will take the point, level things up again. Micheletto at the moment. Part parcel of men's volleyball is the ball that goes in the net from serving because the players are trying to bring so much pressure from the serving line to make the other team or get the other team out of system and then reduce their hitting options. Oh, that's what I played. Semeni using Spetoli, and it's Zaxa who edge in front. the court and a couple of points now gives Axa a little bit of daylight and Trentino call timeout. Not close at all was it from the replay? Oh, yes, that's 
so well played from Kaczynski. Kaczmarek just doing his best to try and not let that happen, but it's so difficult. the battle at the net is the ability to be able to use the block because the block is so high and so well formed that trying to find the floor is not always easy so now you think right let's try and get it off the hands and away and Semenya does it perfectly Played Zaxa. Rather timeout called by Trentino. Really good play that from Kaczmarek. With Kaczynski jumping in on the cross, and he's just dropped this stab down, cut it perfectly. It's a sea of red, white, and blue behind the Zaxa team. The fans are really enjoying what's going on. The Italian fans in yellow are a little bit subdued at the moment. and that's going deep towards the corner. Semenyuk, again, he's been really good through the outside for Zaxa. And Janusz has been mixing it up nicely. Oh, well played, Janusz. No carry. Work by Shochi. Better ball now for Semenyuk, but he's not found any hands, has he? No. Well, they're looking to look for a net touch here. Schlifka's convinced that actually Trentino touched the net. Which might just let Zaxa off the hook a little bit. Did Trentino's block touch the net? Crikey, he just managed not to touch the net, you think? No, he has touched it. The shirt has touched it as he comes down. Now, is the ball down? That's the question. Is the ball already down? They need to look at that. Because, yes, he has touched the net, but on the far side of the screen, was the ball already on the floor? Here we go. Oh, well, on. <laughs> stop. Stop at the moment where the ball's on the floor. Oh, dear. Well, it's been given as a fault, so the ball must have still been in the air. One goes straight down from Lizanets.
Zaxa are in a good place as we look at this one again. Nice side out for Trentina. They need more than that, though. Oh, goodness me. Four players around that ball. Waiting for an invitation to play it. Blocking substitution could come in again for Zaxo as he did in the previous set. It matters not, Slipka goes a little bit too wide and opens up the gap for Trentino to put the ball away. Giulio Pinali coming on, 24 years of age. He's an opposite, came from Consul Ravenna last season, who finished ninth. Part of the Italian team that won the European Championships last year. Quite a good serve, but what a great ball in, actually. Good up, spare Tolly. That's a tricky one to deal with. But it's Kaczynski who takes care of things. And Trentino get a valuable point back. They got a break point. Pinali will go to serve again. Zaxa very pleased about that, just draws them a little bit closer to taking the second set and having a two set to nothing lead, that really will put a bit of pressure on Trentino, but there's still quite a long way to go yet in this set. Nice ball in, saying that allows the middle to be run, oh what a pick up! But it's Kaczynski who puts it on the floor, second time of asking. That was some excellent defence from Zaxa with Anchoji on the court. Ball in, Smith, and he'll get the return. Perfect. Janusz had to go to him, didn't he? Had to. Such a good play from Smith, because he gave himself the time with that ball in to then come in and attack it quick. Ooh, good touch. Swing chance, we just got Enger paired. oh, and that's a big power tip from Schlivka, and it works. It's always nice to see the Enger Pet. Have a swing? I don't think I will, I'll make it a set, and then Schlivka can put it on the floor. Into transition again here. Schlipka again puts it away. It's set point for Zaxa. Janus with the serve. Can they get it done first time of asking? Well, they might do. 
work for Micheletto. Well, that's not landed in. Oh, it has. It's gone off the block, though. So it doesn't matter that it didn't land in. The merest of touches. But that's all it needs. Court Smith. Catch Marek. Wraps that up. And Zaxa take the set 25 20. They lead Trentino by two sets to nothing.
Zaxa up two and nothing. This has been the battle of the middles. David Smith, Agent Smith, with seven points. Sheckle is not with five. But with Zaxa up by two and only needing one set to make it back to back Champions League success, there is an awful lot of pressure now, you feel, on Trentino. Third set underway. Alessandro Michieletto with the serve. Probably a better chance here for Zaxa to score. Oh, brilliant, Lavia. And that won't be coming back. It is Zaxa will take the point. Excellent start to this third set. A bit of a scoop, brilliant dive, but it's still Zaxa who take the point. Such a good angle, will Mickey get it? No, he can't quite bring it back. Oh, he's got to be careful, he hasn't hurt himself as he went crashing into those advertising hoardings. They uh, can be painful. Throwing that ball too far in front of him. Kazitsky, that time there was nowhere for Schlifke to go. Super block then. Oh, it's another, oh, well played, Micheletto. He did so well to get that back into play. And it was just one of those where he's hoiked it a little too far and a little too close to the block. I think he's still feeling it, you know, his little bit of a wobble up, a little bit of a sore ankle, Micheletto. Hopefully he'll be okay. Big hit, Lavia.
It's a joy to watch when teams can do that. Suck the middle into jumping with the middle and just opening up a huge gap for the height to go into. And there's no chance of the defender. Lizinets with a, a middle blocker swing it. Quite a great set from Spertoli to find him. Top ball in. Great block. <laughs> And Schlipka has straight back look through the net at Lavia. Lavia's having none of it, he's just blocked him and walked off. Have a look at Schlipka after he gets blocked here. Oh, there's a little, maybe a, bit, a little bit of after his Podraskinin was letting him know, wasn't he? Oh dear. Getting ready. Trying to work Micheletto. Oh, that's well played. So many just off the hands and away. Kaczynski kind of felt it might have been coming. Tried to get deep enough to do something about it. He's dropping, he's dropping, he's going. He's, oh, I can't get to that. Nice high hard hit from Semenyuk. Slipka <laughs> just trying to drop that one into an area where there could be a lot of traffic for Itas. It'll be Lavia now to serve. Perfect ball in. Good up, Lavia. Ooh, it's still going. That's a bit tight, maybe too tight. It is too tight. So many have tied that to perfection to make sure he didn't get outjousted by Micheletto. Really good pickup from Lavia. <laughs> so then it just pushes David Smith out of the way and then deals with it all. Smith to serve. Oh! Oh, goodness me, that was a, a dolly dropper of a serve from Smith. And somehow Podraskinin gets himself all tied up on the net. He's trying to avoid the block, which he's done. That's why it's come off this forearm, hasn't it? That was more like what Smith was trying to do first time round. If it matters not, Spatoli then finds Podraskin in and side out achieved. And they're all square and eight apiece. says he's not looking overly worried at the moment. He might do, though, if Zaxa continue and get in front by a few points. This is a must-win set for Trentino. Oh, 
What a ball, Soji. Nice up, Michieletto. Well, we're seeing a lot of that going on in the game where players are taking their hands away, thinking it's going to be block out, and just giving away a free swing. Oh, dear. Well, there's trouble here for Shoji. Real trouble for Shoji. I wonder if he's, his calf has gone. Maybe he got a bit of cramp or something. It looks like it, doesn't it, the way he's being treated. They can ill afford not to have Shoji on court. He's up and he's OK, hopefully. What shows, he goes to make that play and he lands a bit awkwardly, doesn't he? As he lands then, he's uh, actually landed on his own knee and he's really struggling. He's OK. Catch Mark just asking Liz that she touched that. No, buddy. No, of course it didn't. There are great rivalries on the court, but there are also some great friendships off of it. Good serve, really good serve. Podraskin in getting the better of Schlifka. Tino are doing enough, they're up, 11-9, timeout called by Zaxa. Semenyuk doing a lot better than Michieletto, and you look at the stats, he's playing well, is Semenyuk. Michieletto's not really had a great deal to do, starved of the ball a bit. That's a super pick-up from the youngster. Oh, that is spinning horribly. Excellent. Semenyuk had a little look, he wanted to know what was going on, what did he have in front of him, he looked through the net, he could see where the blockers were, and he knew where the space was. That little look, just to know where to put it. for Trentino. And Kaczynski hasn't found the sideline. That ball was a horrible spinner as well that Ketchmark did well to make sure it went over. Just didn't quite happen for Kaczynski. Oh, 
great reaction, Slavia. There's not much more Yanis could do with that. Again, players trying to take their hands out of the way. Instead of trying to force the issue and get in there and make the block. Kaczynski made sure of it. Spotelli, after a long inspection of the, of the baseline, says, yeah, all right, it's in. There was no touch, but it matter, ball was in. Catch Marek with a great swing. No, everything is okay. Calm down, okay? Thank you. went in to help out and then there was a space in behind him had he not helped out he might well have just made a dig fabulous from Smith so that's frustrating with himself he didn't pick the right side Travelling with it, travelling with it, but what a great turn. Lavi is late to help. <laughs> Nicoletto works the block, gets his point, and we're just going at the moment, point for point for point. It's going to be interesting to see what happens when we get to the business end of this set. does like to take his hands away from blocking, doesn't he? But he's getting blocked. And Trentino make a bit of a break. Push away from Zaxa. Nice dig that from Kaczynski. Fabulous block from Lavia. believe it's in. We're going to go video check. This is not time out. Your pair. This is not time out. Huh? Great call. From the referee yet again, Fabrice Collada is having a great game. Equal to it. Oh, 
goodness me, error from Michieletto. Timeout called by Trentino. Their lead has disappeared again, and it's now Zaxa in front. This set is on a knife edge. Slivka back to the serving line. He's got a really interesting pre-serve routine. He takes a step to the side, then a little step in front. It's quite interesting to watch, but it's what gets him into rhythm. And it's a great serve, but what a good ball in. Oh, yes, catch Marek, one-on-one. -on -one. Catches Michieletto. Monster block, catch Marek. Very, very good serving run from Schlifka. Oh, just threw that one again, a little too far in front, a little bit like Semenyuk has been doing on occasion. But advantage, Saxa. De Heer, well, De Heer's come in to take over from Spertoli. Three players at the net, all in excess of two metres to try and stop Saxa from siding out. Lavia with the serve. Smith, Michieletto gets the block, and Trentino have levelled up. <laughs> Lavia. Nice ball in, Shochi. Semenyuk high off the hands. That means De Heer comes out, Spertoli comes back. Zaxa have the lead again. and Janusz, in fact, Reno it was, together. It's a nice ball in. But Zaks are able to get their block set. Kaczmarek really getting into it. Smith once again. That's a bit tight. Shlifka has to come in and set, instead of trying to be a referee. Well played, Lavia. Ooh, I'll tell you what, Semenyuk's felt bad. He's pinged one of his fingers, there's Lavia. Chialetto. Spin, oh, what a set that is from Schnivka. He's got a career on the beach if he doesn't want one indoors, hasn't he? Wonderful play. Zaxa now 2018 up. They are really causing some issues, Lorenzetti and Trentino. Just cannot seem to get the advantage in this set. That's such a good touch from Semenyuk. 
Marek with the serve. Kluth's come in again. He has yet to touch the ball. He's been on court a few times. He still he doesn't get to touch the ball. Well played, Podraskin. The height that Podraskin gets is incredible, isn't it? For those of you who are watching this and enjoying the volleyball, but wondering you know, how high is the net? It's two meters and 43, that's eight foot, is the same height as a crossbar in soccer, in football. And when you see Podraskinin and Micheletto and co getting that high above it, you realize that's some feet. Finale. Semenyan once again gets the better of Spertoli. And the two-point gap is there once again. It's been a really solid team performance so far from Zaxa. Smart volleyball. Yeah, that had Spatoli running. He had his eye on it. Didn't quite work out for Semenyuk. <laughs> oh, that's been given as an ace. It is an ace. Spatoli bringing some heat. Semenyuk just thought it was going out, and he let it go, it wasn't. A blistering serve from Spertoli. We're all square, timeout by Zaxa. Still a great percentage, isn't it? Semenyo can that's worrying for Micheletto, 35%, 12 points. But I think he's got it as well. He's struggling a little bit with his ankle. But the number of times Trentino been able to get into the system, it's been a bit tough for them. But that will do very nicely. Spetoli's serving run, brilliant for him. He's really putting Zaxa under pressure here. Schlifka with the unforced error. Great ball, Semenyuk. But this time, Schlifka makes sure that that one goes in court. It is advantage Trentino. They're siding out to have the lead each time. Saw the gap, took it. Brilliant swing from Schlipka. Reno. We've got cramps going on everywhere here. What have Saxa been up to? Janusz getting cramped. That's a free swing. And Janusz is getting cramp on the way down. Shoji's had cramp, Janusz has had cramp. Weird. 
Wonderful. This is what the pipe attack is all about. Janish has gone again, he's got cramp again. Goodness me, Janish hit that jump float serve and then he was hobbling around the court. But it's set point for Trentino. They don't care one iota what's going on with Janus. Lizinac. That's not going to make it. And now it's the first to get two clear. We'll either take the set or take the match. Slivka got what it takes. Can he come up with a couple of points? Will it be set point number two for Trentino? Ooh, it's a good serve, but a chance here, Micheletto. Oh, well up, Spitoli! It's still in play, though. Semenyuk puts it away. It is turned around in Zaxa's favour. They've now got championship points. Oh my goodness, what a game, what a turnaround, what a pickup! Equally good from Semenyuk, and not only that, he's up ready to have a swing, and he hammers it away cross court. Marco, sulla palla più aspetta e poi vai, eh? Ok? Rigiocata! Rigiocata, andiamo in posto 4, eh? Backs to the wall now for Trentino, that's for sure. The Zaxa fans are all on their feet. Sensing perhaps victory, perhaps. Trentino looking for side out, Schlivka looking to make sure he makes this as tough as possible, but gets it in. Oh, that's a bit far, he has to go with the jump flow. And they will rescue it, side out achieved. Match point saved by Trentino. Only just, but just enough. Catch Marek desperately trying to get onto it, but then he can't get to it once it hit the net. Lavia. Quality ball in from Shoji. Smith hammers it away. It's a USA 1-2. And it's match point yet again for Zaxa. USA, Poland, USA. And it is match point number two. And it will be Smith to serve. Good ball in. It's going to be a swing for it. Semenyuk! Oh, he's not done it. Oh, my goodness, he can't believe it. An actual swing for the match. And it's just clipped the net, and that's why it's gone out. Ew, he can't believe it. Michieletto now. Trying to force it, not happening. Match point number three for Zaxa. How many are they going to need? How many are they going to get? Catch Marek. Catch Marek hit the winning serve in the Super Finals last year. It was an ace serve. That was against Micheletto. Micheletto's out of the pass. 
And that one is out of the gym, it's not landed in, it won't be catch Marek from service. And match point number three sails out. Now it's Podraskin in for Trentino. Another quality ball in from Shoji. And Semenyuk just goes over the top, power tip. Match point again for Zaxa here. Semenyuk, the toss is good, so to the serve. Oh, I say, Matty Kaczynski, incredible. Somehow it stays up, and then Kaczynski's able to do that from that far away. Fans can't believe it. Now, Spetoli, he's had a couple of aces, his serve has been good. Well, that's a good ball in from Semenyuk. And the pipe is good, and it's another match point, and still Zaxa are knocking on the door to victory. And yet Trentino will not allow it to be open, they will not let them through. But for how long can they keep the door shut? Moreno with the serve. Trying a little bit too hard, is right now. And we'll keep on going until someone can get too clear. Kaczynski. Bit of pressure here for Zaxa. Oh, well played, Schlivka. Off the hands of Michieletto. And yet another match point. Well, for those of you watching, wherever you're watching from, whatever you're watching on and supporting Zaxa, you're going to think, come on, you've got to do this. Please do this. Somebody do this. For those of you supporting Trentino, it's come on, make the side out. And they will. Oh, brilliant. Lavia, but what a set, Spitoli. Giving Lavia a free swing and again, the ambush with cramp. Spiked out from Lavia, cramp for Janusz, and still the game continues here in Ljubljana. Lizanets. Oh, my goodness. A shake of the head. You feel his frustration. But to try as they might, Zaxa can't find a point from the serving line. We've been all the way round a whole rotation. Schlifka back there again, getting a second go from the serving line for Zaxa to win it for all the marbles. Another one that Micheletto does well to do something with. But now there's a really good chance here. Semenyuk, he's done it! It's all over! Zaxa are back-to-back -back champions here in Ljubljana. They are the Super Finals gold medalists. They have beaten Trentino again. Oh, the drama! 32-30, three sets to nothing. A repeat for Zaxa. Jubilation for Poland. Desolation for Italy and Trentino. It just wouldn't happen. What a performance from Zaxa. What a game. Saxon are the kings of Europe yet again. They have retained their crown.
and they did make it look a little bit easy, didn't they? But do not take anything away from the performance of Trentino. Zaxa were pushed all the way. They had to play some incredible volleyball. We witnessed some unbelievable volleyball. 25-22, 25-20, 32-30. Just amazing. Wonderful scenes for Zaxa. Sheer disappointment for Trentino, as you might expect. Well, they played their part, and it just wasn't to be, but it's Zaxa somehow managed to get away with it as well, with Janus cramping up every other point. This is how it was done. Schlipka making the read, and then Semenya just getting it off the hands and away. And then the celebrations can begin in earnest. Schlivka read it brilliantly. Semenya gets in the right place. No mistake with that. Full commitment to the swing. Just looked for those hands and found them, and he made the block his best friend. And he's made himself a two-time European champion. You'll watch that many more times to come, and you'll never get tired of watching it, and they'll never get tired of watching it. Great job by the coaching staff. What a wonderful moment for the fans as well. Oh, yes. Well, the emotions now getting the better of Semenya. And understandable. No doubt, Semenyuk, even though he's crying his eyes out, we're absolutely delighted it's done, it's dusted, and they've done it in three as well, and didn't allow Trentino to get back in. Oh, and that's just marvellous for Banak as well. He didn't get to come on court, it doesn't matter. Still an integral part of everything that went on. It was a team performance and they can all enjoy it, they can all savour the moment. Tears of joy yet again for Zaxa. And heartbreak for Trentino. Who are your match stats? You can make of them what you will. It's that top line. Three nothing, job done. Another gold medal. Another victory for Zaxa. Janusz taking over from Tony Uti. Reyno taking over from Kowanowski. And getting the job done. Delighting the fans. When you put everything on the line and you commit and you give everything. And when you realize that you've achieved something incredibly special, it does mean so much. It is an emotional moment for the players. Let's hear what Semenya can say, if he can say anything. Very emotional night for you, uh, but you were practically unstoppable tonight. What a what a game for you and the team. Can you tell us what, what you're feeling right now? I'm very happy. I'm proud to be part of this team. We didn't expect that we can uh, repeat this 
the success like last year. I cannot also ima imagine like I can finish this part of my career with Zaxa like this. So I'm very happy. It's time to celebrate, so I will go now. Congratulations. Thank you. He's off to Perugia. What a way to go. What a performance. Goodness me, what a super finals here in Ljubljana. Zaxa have got the job done. And they've done it in straight sets over Trentino. But we have got the medal of the victory ceremony to come very shortly. We hope you'll stay with us for that. The players cannot wait for that to happen. Well, there'll be plenty more opportunities for that young man, though, that's for sure. And that was the problem for Micheletto. He tweaked his ankle going after a ball early on in the match when he went into the advertising hoardings and he wasn't quite right after that. It's all a little bit too much, isn't it, for so many of them? has been a super, super finals from the women's event and the men's event. Two fabulous matches. And as always, there has to be a winner, there has to be a loser. And as Semenyuk said, he didn't really think they would do it. Didn't expect to do it, but as a team, they played well. They got the job done. They played the smarter volleyball at the end of the day. They were able to find the solutions they needed when they needed them.
she's a diva. I feel the same and I wanna meet her, meet her. They say she low down. It's just a room and I don't believe her. They say she needs to slow down. The baddest thing around town. Before we can start with the awarding ceremony, we can start soon now, so please stick around and give them your support. All the teams here today on this uh, CV Super Finals. 